Hey everyone, Val here with Steve and we are going to do another Tagless Tuesday and um, everybody that does these, the tags are listed in the description box below so go by and check out their channels and see how they answer the questions in the tag this is a lot of fun and uh, these questions come from Andrew and Adam the sons of Joan over at Joan's Pointed Plate. So her sons did the questions this week. And uh, let's see what they came up with. I'm sure they'll be good. I haven't really looked at them. So question number one, are you ready? Ready as I'm ever going to be. Okay. What historic event do you wish you could have been part of? Hmm. Historic event. Wow. That's a hard question. Oh, The Last Supper. The Last Supper? Mm -hmm. Part of saying goodbye to Jesus? Mm hmm. Hmm. Either that or the part when he came back. Yeah, to witness that. That would be cool to witness that. I just don't know. Historic event. Wow. Maybe that whole thing around Easter. Last Supper, dying on the cross, and then coming back, spending time with his disciples before he descends to heaven. Alright, so he wants to be part of the uh, Easter experience. I, I swear I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, if I come up with something while we're doing the questions, I, I'll let you know. But I can't think of a historic event I would want to be part of. Last Supper? You don't want to be part of the Last Supper? No. <clears throat> I wouldn't want to be part of the Last Supper. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. It's a tough one, huh? Yeah. We're talking about an event in history. Um, question number two. Did you participate in April Fool's Day? If so, what did you do? Yes. You did? What'd you do? I tried to get people to think their shoe was untied. Did you? Mm -hmm. Um, that was Friday. Oh, no, I didn't do anything this year at all. No. Nope. Sorry. All right, question number three. What is the one piece of decor in your house that you love the most? I love our house. I mean, if it's one piece of decor, I'm, it would probably be the embellishment painting in the dining room. The Goddard painting that, that I got. Um, that would be, I think, one of my favorite pieces. We also have some antiques in the house that, that I like a lot that I wouldn't want to get rid of. So I guess that would be my favorite decor. The wall behind us. All the picture frames and stuff? Our cruise, our cruise adventure wall. Yeah. Our adventure wall, that's my favorite. I'll take some pictures and insert it here. Question number four, what's your favorite piece of technology? For example, smartphone, iPad, computer, the wheel. I guess mine would be my laptop. That's what I use the most. Guess if I have to pick. And I'm assuming it's something that I use. 
Um, I actually don't think I could survive without my Garmin in my car too, because See, for can, travel and uh, stuff, I I don't have time. You know, I can't sit and look at a map, or you know, I don't do it off my phone. I have a Garmin in my car, so that would be something that I couldn't do without either. I don't know. It's probably his phone because he's attached to it 24-7. <clears throat> I could live without it. If I had to live without it, I'd be alright. Well, I mean, everybody would be alright if they had to live without it. But I mean, I like... The technology I like is the fact that you can video chat with your loved ones. That's the, my favorite technology. Be it with your phone, with the portal, whatever, Zoom. I like that technology. Okay. Question number five. If you could be in any movie, what movie would it be? have to be my favorite movie, Dirty Dancing. That would have to be the movie I'd be in. I don't know what character I would be playing. I kind of want to say the movie William Wallace. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. That's where Scotland's fighting for their freedom. Just because it kind of holds true to some of the current situations that we're in today. Freedom, where freedoms are at stake. Yeah. Okay. Question number six. If you could have any animal in the world as a pet, what would it be? A dog. A dog. I don't really want a pet, but any animal. Well, there, there was no, a cute no. little thing I saw on a video one time. I don't know what it's called. A little, it's got big round eyes, and he hops, and then he can. It's look, look kind of looks like a monkey, but I'm not sure what it is. He's kind of cool looking. He hop. He hopped and he jumped and grabbed onto the wall, and then a guy handed him a carrot. He took the carrot. At the big old I don't know what it is though. I don't know. That was kind of cool looking. I don't know. Um, I think a monkey would be cool to have. It was sort of like a monkey. But uh, they're kind of mischievous and stuff. But I don't think it was a monkey. So I don't know. I don't know. I just pets. Pets are a lot of work. All right. Uh, I'll go with monkey. Um, number seven, which do you like better, old music or new music, and what's your favorite genre? Now, mine was classic rock. I love classic rock. I love Leonard Skinner and, um, all the old bands, um, but now I tend to listen more to, um, the Christian radio station. Um, but I still like my classic rock. <clears throat> I'm contemporary Christian music. Okay, that's it? That's the only answer? Yeah, that's it. I don't have a favorite. Okay. Eight. What... Would you rather eat food all any? Okay. Would you rather eat food any or all the food you want and not gain weight, or never and or never ex exercise again and still be fit and healthy? Wouldn't that be about the same? Would you rather eat food any all the food you want and not gain weight, or never ex exercise again? But stay fit and healthy. Could you eat all the food you wanted and still not for exercise and be fit and healthy? 
I take them both. I mean, depending what you consider exercise, like are you like having to work out in the gym? I, if I never had to do that again, I'd be fine with that. But I still would like to eat all the food I can and not gain weight. As long as I didn't have to exercise. I don't know. He doesn't gain weight, so. Yeah, okay. It doesn't matter. He, do, he doesn't work out, but he doesn't gain weight, so. But I don't know how healthy he is. I'm pretty healthy. Um. Alright. That's your answer? Yeah, that's my answer. I don't know. Okay. Would you rather bungee jump or skydive? <clears throat> I think I could handle skydiving better than I could bungee jumping. Yeah, I couldn't bungee jump. I I don't know this day and age. I don't want to do either. I'm you know don't want to break anything. But skydiving. Me either. But if I had to pick, I I'd, I think I could handle doing skydiving a whole lot better than I could bungee jumping. Yeah, I think I could too. And last question: What is your guilty pleasure song that makes you sing or dance whenever you hear it? There's a lot of Christian songs that I really like to sing along with. I have no answer for that. <clears throat> Just simply because I can't remember the name of any of the songs. So. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just I can't hide it. I don't like that one at all. <laughs> I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of Christian songs that, that I'll, I'll dance to but or sing sing along with. But there's also a lot of uh, classic rock that I'll get excited and sing along with too. I can't help. But falling in love. That doesn't make me get excited and want to dance. <laughs> that is not a get along and dance song. <sighs> Alright. I don't know where in history I'd want to be part of. I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, maybe with Betsy Ross sewing a flag. Maybe. All right. So that's the questions. Thank you, Adam and Andrew, for these wonderful questions. Um, and if anybody wants to do them, the questions will be in the description box below also. So you can do the questions. Let me know you've done them. Um, leave me a comment in the section below so that I can go over and check your video out and see what, how you answered these questions. These, some of these were tough questions. Yep, they were. So, uh... And I have one question for y'all. Who invented the zipper? Why is that a question? I don't know if anybody knows the answer. I can Google it. Hmm? Google it. You can Google it. Alright. Thank y'all. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And we will catch you on the next video. Bye now. Bye. Mm.